In the name of Allah, the most gracious and the most merciful, I am Myra Suhail and I am going to present my research article titled as Cardiotocography, an indicator to predict vaginal and cesarean deliveries. My co-authors are Engineer Umar Khan, Engineer Sumair Aziz, Sara Ibrahim, Surya Sajid and Engineer Sayyid Zuhair Hassan Nakwi. We are from University of Engineering and Technology, Texas, Pakistan and our research group is Syndicate of Embedded and Electronic Design. I am going to cover different topics in my presentation which are introduction, literature survey, methodology, finally the results and conclusions. Firstly, the introduction of the topic. So what are the different modes of delivery or the childbirth? These are vaginal delivery and the cesarean delivery. Vaginal delivery is the process of giving birth through the vagina or the birth canal by cesarean section or the C-section, which is the cesarean delivery, is the surgical process of giving birth, which involves incisions through mother's abdomen and uterus. It is life-saving in certain conditions, so it becomes necessary to operate through the surgical mode. The rate of the cesarean section differs worldwide. In America, it's 32%. In Africa, it's 7%. In Egypt, it's 55%. In China, it's 50%. In Brazil, 80% of the births are through C-section, while in India, the rate is 17%. There are the certain conditions that lead to the C-section. For example, the baby has developmental problems, health problems such as heart diseases, active genital herpes, which is a disease caused by herpes simplex virus, HSV, the problems with the umbilical cord, the position of the baby, or the particularly breech position, Placenta problems, start labor, which is a condition in which the mother is in the active labor and the labor suddenly stops or slow downs. The history of the previous cesarean deliveries. As it is life saving, but there are some risk, risk factors which are also associated. In babies, for example, there is a chance of accidental surgical cuts as C section is a surgical procedure and the need of intensive care arises. The certain respiratory problems also arise in the baby due to the C-section. Well, the risk factors in the mother mainly include throm thromboembolism or the blood clots. As it's a surgical process, so the wound infections or the complications of anesthesia, the injury to the organs and the complications in the upcoming deliveries may also arise. Then I'm going to discuss what cardiotocography is, which has which I have used as indicator to predict the upcoming deliveries as vaginal or cesarean. So, cardiotocography or CTG is a comprehensive approach to measure the maternal uterine pressure or the maternal uterine contractions and the fetal heart rate. The maternal uterine contractions are measured through the maternal uterine pressure and the pressure is measured through tocography. And tocography is a non quantitative and uh, approach and provides information about the amplitude and the time period of maternal uterine contractions. And for this, toco dynamometer is used, which is a pressure transducer. And it's a non-invasive procedure and by of using the external toco uh, dynamometer. Then the other signal which is recorded through cardiotocography is something related to heart as the name has cardio word in it. So it is the fetal heart rate, which is also measured. So the two signals are simultaneously acquired in cardiotocography, which are the maternal uterine pressure or the maternal uterine contractions and the fetal heart rate. The next section is of literature survey or the literature review. Various research works have been done using the signal of CTG or cardiotocography, but they were mainly used to measure the relationship between the fetal heart rate and the uterine contraction or to predict some pathological conditions or the fetal injury or something. While we have used this signal to classify the upcoming deliveries as vaginal or cesarean. In 2010, a research was conducted in which they modeled uh, a relationship between the uterine contractions and the fetal heart rate. And for this, they adopted the non-parametric approach to estimate the dynamics in terms of impulse response function, IRR, 
and they assessed it by applying singular value decomposition and they successfully modeled the system and they used it to prevent the fetal injury. In 2015, another research was conducted in which the hybrid came in, the support vector machines were used and the data set was from the UCI machine learning repository and they achieved an accuracy of 90%. And in 2018, another research was conducted in which they proposed an automatic algorithm for computerized identification and classification of fetal decelerations and tested it on the same data set which we have used to classify the CTG signal into the two categories of vaginal and caesarean. So what is the proposed methodology behind classifying the CTG signal as vaginal or caesarean? The first step is data acquisition of both the classes, vaginal and caesarean, which is the CTG data. The next is the feature extraction from the data set and which the last step is the classification of the data into the two classes. So firstly the data acquisition. So we use a publicly available data set from PhysioNet. And the data set was CTU, CHB, intrapartum, cardio, cardiotopography database. And uh, the CTG recordings were from 552 mothers or the pregnant ladies which were pregnant with a singleton pregnancy and they have passed the 36 weeks of gestation. The sampling rate of 4 herd is there and uh, the signal was acquired 90 minutes before the actual delivery had, that has occurred. And the total number of findings or the database signals were 506 signals from the vaginal class of the both the FHR and the uterine contractions. FHR is the fetal heart rate and the caesarean are 46. The next step is the feature extraction. Before that, I will show the time domain and the frequency domain plots of the raw signal which was Acquired and the uterine contraction signal of the vaginal and caesarean delivery is shown. And there are the frequency domain plots from the vaginal and the caesarean class of the uterine contractions. Then there are the fetal heart rate time domain plots and the frequency domain plots in of fetal heart rate. The feature which was found best after experimentation is standard deviation. Standard deviation is a measure of variability which means that when we are calculating the standard deviation we are using it as an estimate of variability of the population from which the respective samples are drawn. So after various experimentation we have found it as the best feature for both the categories fetal heart rate and uterine contractions. And then the both the signals were serially concatenated and the further classification was done. And the data is balanced. So we have also adopted the technique of adaptive synthetic sampling and to balance the data set. And as the caesarean section data set was low in count, so and 506 signals were from the general domain. So after addressing the both the data set were balanced and we have a total of 1012 samples, 506 from each category. The classification is done using fine KNN. KNN is considered to be one of the very simplest to understand algorithms, yet it is one of the is the one that works incredibly in practice too. As it, as it is a slow learning non-parametric algorithm, it makes decision based on the entire training data set. And fine KNN is a type of KNN that identifies the K nearest neighbors of the test sample by firstly determining the small number of training samples close to the test sample. It exploits the distance based on the representation to identify and determine the KNN of the test sample from the set of training samples. Then what are the results which I obtained? The confusion matrix is shown here and the results are 100% accurate by adopting the framework 
that is the signal acquisition then feature extraction the serial concatenation of the fhr and uc's extracted features and then the classification using fine gain and it is not just a very simple in computation method but it's also very easy to acquire the signal only just the external dynamometer is to be wound around the mother's abdomen and the fetal heart rate monitor and both the signals are acquired simultaneously using the ctg monitor and it is very easy to implement in the hospitals as well and when i compare my research work with the previous literature the existing literature in this uh, uh, ctg domain is only centered around either about the uh, evaluation of the pathology or the relationship between the both uh, uterine contraction and the fetal heart rate but this work is uh, provides a simple and 100% accurate method for the prediction of delivery as vaginal or cesarean and the ctg based model is 100% accurate and and one research the highest accuracy which was 91% and it beats that accuracy and uh, it is very helpful to evaluate the health status of both the mother and the child before the delivery so that it, it becomes easy to predict the upcoming delivery as vaginal or cesarean so what i just conclude is that this research is very easy as well as accurate methodology is provided 100 percent accurate so that the prediction of the child delivery as cesarean or vag vaginal becomes easy 90 minutes before the actual delivery procedure is performed so both the uterine contractions and the fetal heart rate are measured using cardiotocography and it's a very simple to adopt method and it can easily be implemented in maternity homes and hospitals and becomes life-saving for both the mother and the child and the most important part it is 100 percent accurate here are the references some of which i have used in the presentation Thanks.